China's sixth-generation fighter program has taken another visible step forward as the aircraft widely referred to as the J-50 has reportedly conducted another test flight recently. While Beijing has not officially confirmed the aircraft's designation or full specifications, multiple sightings, satellite imagery assessments, and informed defense analysis strongly suggest that China is rapidly advancing toward operational sixth-generation air combat capability, with a target time frame around 2030. The J-50 is believed to be developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, operating in parallel with Chengdu's larger sixth-generation platform, sometimes referred to by analysts as the J-36. This dual-track development mirrors China's fifth-generation approach, where both the J-20 and J-31 were pursued simultaneously, allowing the People's Liberation Army Air Force and Naval Aviation to select optimized platforms for different roles. Based on available imagery and flight observations, the J-50 appears to be a medium-sized, highly stealth-optimized fighter, noticeably more compact than the J-20. Its design suggests a strong emphasis on reduced radar cross-section from all aspects, likely featuring tailless or near-tailless geometry, blended wing body shaping, and advanced edge alignment to minimize radar reflections. Analysts believe the aircraft prioritizes survivability in heavily contested airspace rather than brute payload capacity. One of the most significant aspects of the J-50 program is its likely focus on next-generation stealth beyond traditional radar evasion. Sixth-generation aircraft are expected to reduce visibility not only to radar, but also to electronic surveillance and multi-static sensor networks. The J-50 is believed to incorporate advanced thermal management to suppress engine heat signatures alongside new radar absorbent materials that perform across a wider frequency spectrum than those used on fifth-generation fighters. Another defining feature expected on the J-50 is artificial intelligence integration. Rather than AI being limited to decision support, sixth-generation concepts envision AI acting as a true combat partner. The J-50 is likely designed to manage multiple unmanned loyal wingman drones, coordinating reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and even strike missions autonomously, while the human pilot focuses on command-level decisions. This would significantly expand the aircraft's situational awareness and lethality without increasing pilot workload. Propulsion remains one of the most closely watched aspects of the program. While early prototypes may rely on improved variants of China's WS-15 engine, the J-50 is expected to eventually feature a next-generation adaptive cycle engine. Such an engine would allow the aircraft to shift between high-thrust and fuel-efficient modes, enabling sustained supercruise, extended range, and improved power generation for advanced onboard systems like directed energy weapons or high-power electronic warfare suites. Speaking of weapons, the J-50 is expected to rely heavily on beyond-visual-range dominance rather than traditional dogfighting. Internal weapons bays are likely optimized for long-range air-to-air missiles, potentially including future Chinese hypersonic or very long-range interceptors designed to engage enemy aircraft, tankers, and command platforms from extreme distances. While close-range maneuverability will still matter, sixth-generation doctrine emphasizes killing the enemy before visual contact is ever made. Sensor fusion is another core pillar of the J-50's design philosophy. The aircraft is expected to act not just as a fighter, but as a flying sensor node within a larger combat cloud. Advanced AESA radars, passive detection systems, electronic intelligence receivers, and space-based beta links would allow the J-50 to share real-time battlefield information with other aircraft, drones, ground units, and naval assets. In such a network, the J-50 may not always fire the missile itself, but could guide weapons launched by other platforms. The recent test flight is particularly important because it suggests the program is moving beyond ground validation and early taxi trials into sustained flight testing. This phase is where stealth shaping, flight control laws, engine performance, and sensor integration begin to mature. Historically, China has accelerated development timelines once flight testing begins, as seen with both the J-20 and the Y-20 strategic airlifter. 
If current progress continues, limited operational capability could be achieved in the early 2030s, potentially placing China ahead of or on par with Western sixth-generation efforts such as the U.S. Next Generation Air Dominance Program. This has significant strategic implications, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region, where air superiority will be a decisive factor in any future high-intensity conflict. It is important to note that much of what is known about the J-50 remains classified or inferred. China deliberately controls information flow around advanced military programs, revealing just enough to signal capability while preserving uncertainty. However, repeated test flights, growing industrial capacity, and consistent long-term investment all point to a serious, sustained effort rather than a technology demonstrator. In essence, the J-50 represents more than just another fighter jet. It reflects China's ambition to redefine air dominance through stealth, intelligence, networking, and autonomy. If successful, it could fundamentally change how future air wars are fought, shifting the balance from pilot skill and platform performance to system integration and information superiority. As China continues to test and refine its sixth-generation platforms, the world is entering a new era of air combat, one where dominance will be decided long before the enemy is ever seen. For Mighty Military, this is a development that deserves close attention because the race for sixth-generation air power has already begun, and China is clearly determined to be at the front of it.